Welcome to part two of a six-part series about creating automatic web traffic reports. For other videos in this series, check out the links in the description. But for now, let's dive back in. In this step, you will add Google Analytics to your spreadsheet as an add-on. An add-on is a customized tool you can use to boost your workflow or extend the functionality of a workspace program. For example, you might build a project that allows employees to create expense reports directly from email receipts. Or, you might schedule follow-up emails that automatically send users in an online community content based on their interests. In this project, you will create a new Google Analytics report to gather information about your website traffic. First, get the Google Analytics add-on. This add-on allows Google Analytics and Google Sheets to communicate with each other. You can use it to import data about your website into your spreadsheet dashboard. Now that you've installed the Google Analytics add-on, create a report about your website. Next, customize your report using the side panel. Name your report so that you can easily identify the information within it. For example, call this report, This Week's Web Traffic. Then, select the name of your Google Analytics account from the account menu. If you have more than one account, you will see more than one option or website in this list. Make sure you select the right account for this report. Now, select the metrics you want to analyze for this report. First, choose Unique Page Views. A page view is a view of a page on your website that is being tracked by the analytics tracking code. A page view measures the number of times someone lands on a page on your website, refreshes the page, or returns to the page after looking at something else. A unique page view collects all of the page views that are generated by the same user during the same session. By filtering out the times a person refreshes the page or moves to a different page and comes back, unique page views gives you a better idea of how people look at your website. Next, select page title as the dimensions for your report. Dimensions refers to the data that we are interested in for this report such as seven-day active users and campaign codes. Leave view and segment categories as they are. These allow you to narrow the scope of your data, but you'll use the default values to create your dashboard. Next, create a report. Google Analytics will automatically input information about your website's page views in the second column. In the next step, you'll use this information to gather data on your website's traffic. By completing this section, you have installed the Google Analytics add-on and started a new report. Then move on to the next video to learn how to run and complete your report.